I was looking for a way to make my tractor a little bit more unique. So coming from skid steers, it's really nice to go over to a spot, hit a button, let your bucket drop right off the quick attach, go up to a set of pallet forks or something else and hook it up and get right to work. You never have to leave the operator seat. And I've thought about doing it for quite some time, but I finally pulled the trigger and did it on my Kubota M4. So now I have a hydraulic SSQA, a hydraulic skid steer quick attach between the loader and the bucket. So I can do just that. I can go drop my bucket somewhere, go right up to my set of pallet forks, pick those up without ever having to get out of the cab. Just push some buttons, pushing some levers up there. It's pretty darn cool. So this is a hydraulic quick coupler from HLA. All right, you might know them from the snow pushers that we sell, pallet forks, um, quite a few other products as well that they make up in Canada. Really high quality equipment. And you order this and it's gonna be the whole black chunk here. And I wish I would've got orange, but uh, that was a apparent oversight when I ordered this. But I think it does help you see what we're talking about. So it's a black painted steel. It's gonna bolt on in place, or pin on, I should say, in place of where your manual arms would have been, all right? So it's just four bolts or pins there. And same concept applies, all right? If you had a, a pinned loader bucket, say your loader bucket here was pinned directly to the loader arms and it didn't have a, a skid steer quick attach involved there at all, you wanted to convert it to a skid steer quick attach, well, you can get those manual lever arms that will bolt on the same way, all right? And then you get a weld on plate for the back of your bucket. It's gonna have like a, the big top lip here and the sides and, and some bottom lips as well that everything will anchor to. And so you can convert your, your pin bucket to a, a skid steer quick attach bucket by doing that as well. This is just a fancier version yet. So the keen observer will notice that we have a set of hydraulic lines here. There's another set that's here as well. So this is the regular third function that's on the Kubota. You could plug it into that if you wanted to and operate it. However, if you did so, then you would not be able to also hook up a grapple or a hydraulic angling snowplow, something else that required hydraulics that you connected to the loader. So in our case, we actually had this going all the way back to a hydraulic multiplier on the backside of the tractor, had some lines made up, routed underneath, and all that kind of thing to operate this, and we'll get into that in just a minute. All right, so what are you gonna get when you buy this? Well, you're going to get the black steel, all right? You're not gonna get the hoses or the fittings. Those are gonna vary depending on what your tractor is, your, your whole setup with where you're gonna make the connection and everything else. And, and that's gonna be common with a lot of hydraulic equipment, not all of it. I prefer it that way. Um, it's nice, well, it's easy to say it comes with the hoses and the fittings, right? But that is normally not gonna work. Maybe it works for some folks, but most of the time it doesn't. The, either the hoses are too long, they're too short. If they're too short, you have to get extensions made. If they're too long, you have a bunch of extra slop that you're trying to tie off or figure out what to do with. It's a pain in the butt. Same thing with the fittings. There is no standard setup on fittings, all right? There's no male-female, there's no pioneer, there's no flat face. It, it's, it varies on every single tractor. Sometimes they're mounted over here, sometimes in the center, sometimes over here. It, it's, there's just not a standard, all right? And so I think it's an additional cost that you have to account for when it's not gonna practically work for a lot of different users. So it's a waste of money. Just plan on getting your own hoses and fittings made up. All right, so let's take a look at the backside here to figure out what we have going on, how things are being controlled up front, good general information as well. Two different areas, all right? We have a hydraulic multiplier up top, and then we have factory rear remotes down below, all right? So this all starts out with the factory rear remotes. We do have one of these plugged into a hydraulic top link. This came off of Amazon, super handy, but that's another story. The other remote is feeding the multiplier, all right? So this came on the tractor. We have a set of hoses plumbed in and feeding this hydraulic multiplier, which takes this one circuit and turns it into six circuits. Now these things are awesome, okay? They are gonna turn that one circuit again into multiple. You don't have to get six. You can get just two, three, four, six, uh, different variations there. It's amazing how many remotes you need for some equipment, all right? If you get a, we've shown it before, a three-point blower on here that had three circuits of its own, okay? So that would tie up three of these. And then we have another one going up front for that hydraulic quick coupler. If I only had one rear remote, didn't have this one, then we could plug this hydraulic top link into another one. If we had a hydraulic side link, plug that into another one. You can control all of that from the hydraulic multiplier with a little switch box inside. We have ours mounted right next to the seat, just six switches. So you control which circuit you want to have flow. They all have a solenoid on here. And so it's gonna open that circuit. And then when you control this valve down here, it's gonna only send oil through whichever hydraulic circuit you selected. So we had a local fab shop 
make up some hoses, get some fittings on there. We just kind of did some rough measurements, approximate stuff underneath here, how we have them routed and plugged them in here. And these are gonna stay here all the time, plugged in up front like you saw, and then operated by a lever inside the cab, selecting circuit one for us, which sends the flow from here in the machine, through these lines, through the whole multiplier, right through here and down up front. It's, it's pretty cool. And so what you can do, if you have a rear remote, you wanna get more functions, go to Summit Hydraulics website. You can use code GWT to save 5%. If you're looking for, for anything really hydraulically related there, you can go to their website and get it. Third function kits, all that kind of stuff. DIY stuff, way cheaper than OEM. Save 5% with code GWT on top of that. All right, so now I'm gonna hop in the tractor and show you how this works without ever leaving the operator seat. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. All right, making sure that switch is on. And let's see, Oop, other way. Okay, disconnected, lower it down. Parking brake off, back up here. Okay, so we are disconnected. And we'll drive back forward. forward a little bit more there we go a little shake there okay it should be reconnected I always tip it forward a bit yep I can see the pin sticking out the bottom so that's good we are reconnected now I'm going to take this off and show you what it looks like so you can kind of see how it's working without anything on there, okay? And it is really visually easy to see it disconnecting. You can see the pins and the springs moving on the back. So we're disconnected there. And then let's show you it moving. Oops, other way. Okay, so that's closed. That would be like engaged, all right? It drops those pins down. Move the lever the other way. And you can see it release. So that would be the release mode. See there, that'd be the lock position. And there's the unlock position, all right? Pretty sweet. It operates the same way as those skid steers do. Get this lined up. There. Okay, so this is our, our switch panel here that's controlling the circuits on our multiplier. This is a switch that'll direct flow through my hydraulic quick coupler. I turn that on and then I use the regular lever here, push it one way to lock, the other way to unlock, and that's all you're doing. So if you want to use a different circuit on here, say you have a hydraulic top link plugged in or you have a snow blower with a hydraulic shoot rotation. You're just selecting the switch down here for whatever function you want to operate. You select it and then you use the same lever to operate it. So really easy setup. You get a lot of versatility. It's a cheap way to get more hydraulic functions on your tractor. So folks, that's really all there is to it. It's simple as long as you understand how it works. And it's not a cheap upgrade, all right, but it's kind of the, the creme de la creme, you know, it's a if you're looking for something cool to do to your tractor, you want the convenience of it, or you, maybe you want it just set up more like a skid steer, well, this will give you that functionality. You just have to have the hydraulic remotes to operate it all. Now, like we explained, they're gonna pin right to your loader, and every loader's different, all right? So this is gonna be a made-to-order item. You'll see the listing available on our website, but we'll still need the, the loader that you have. That way, all those pinholes or bolt holes are put in the right configuration, the right spot, 
and it's just made to fit your tractor. So expect a lead time, and I waited several months to get mine, um, but now that I have it, I got it, right? So be aware of that. You're not gonna get this right away, but just know that it's because it's made to order to fit your machine. So you can get more information on this hydraulic quick coupler on our website, goodworkstractors.com. Prices will include shipping. We ship all over the country every day of the week. So whether you're looking for this particular product or something for your front end loader or your three point hitch, we'd love to help you out. If you have any questions, feel free Go through the contact us form or send us an email, we'll get right back to you. If you enjoyed this video, well, we have a lot more of them. There's over 700 other videos out there. I'd encourage you to check those out. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.